Good evening. All right. Got it. Just, uh, I was just over in Afghanistan. Are any of my Afghani brothers here? No. Because they're not allowed to come over here. You got to join the army to go to Afghanistan. You can't take an easy jet flight over there. I want to see Afghanistan on one of them holiday programs like a place in the sun. I want to see, I want to see little Amanda sitting there going, hi, I'm Amanda, and we're here in sunny war-torn Afghanistan with Bob and Margaret, who are thinking about relocating. <laughs> and they have five pounds to spend <laughs> on a beautiful mud hut. <laughs> now, this next hut I'm gonna show you, it's a little out of your budget. It's nine pounds. <laughs> But it does come with an opium field. <laughs> Is that something you'd be interested in, Bob? Gardening? Ooh, I love gardening. <laughs> we got, we're out there fighting terrorism. I can't believe it. Terrorism, why? Terrorism is winning. Not out there, but in here. Because we are scared of stuff we were never scared of before. Stuff like unattended luggage. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, if you saw unattended luggage, you'd be excited. <laughs> you take it. Fifteen years ago, didn't even matter who left their luggage. Fifteen years ago, you would have been like, oh my God, that woman in a burqa <laughs> and a beard <laughs> just left her luggage. Well, all right. <laughs> I got some luggage from northern Pakistan. Fifteen years ago, you wouldn't think there was a bomb in there. Fifteen years ago, you would have went, Pakistan, maybe it's got spices. <laughs> There'd be a guy on a train going, God damn, I left my spice bag behind. <laughs> oh, my food's going to be bland. I'm gonna get my rice yellow. <laughs> Kids will be all disappointed. Dad, did you bring the spice bag home? No, son, I left the spice bag at Paddington. So I guess you're not having fajitas then? <laughs> See, everybody thought it'd be curry, but it was actually Mexican night. <laughs> Unattended luggage, though. I am using that fear to my advantage. Now when I fly, I don't care how many kilograms I put in my luggage. I don't care. If that piece of paper says 20 kilograms, I'm putting 28. And I will bring that luggage. And I'll bring it to the airport, and I will put it on the scale in front of that easy jet whore. <laughs> and she is gonna look at me in disgust. She's gonna go, you knew it was only 20 kilograms. And you put 28 kilograms in there. That'll be 1,700,000 extra pounds. And I'll go, screw you. And I will take my luggage. And I will walk over here and I will leave it there. I attend it. And then I will walk back to her and go, how much is that going to cost you? Just shut down this goddamn airport. <laughs> screw you. Thank you very much, Sam Gellin. It's a real pleasure closing the show. All right.